Throughout European history, the Adriatic and Ionian seas have played an important and strategic role as they are shared by seven countries. Maritime traffic, oil and gas exploration activities, fishing, and tourism are considered to be of high economic value within the area. However, all these activities pose serious threats and pressures to the natural capital and may have an adverse effect on the ecosystem functioning of both seas. Sustainable economic growth and prosperity can only become feasible through coordinated efforts and transnational cooperation. This is what the Adrian Project Harmonia, funded by the EU Interreg program, represents, since its main goal will be to harmonize and coordinate all efforts in contaminant assessment in the Adriatic and Ionian seas. This will be specifically focused on protocols for the environmental impact assessment of offshore activities, from installation to decommissioning, an issue which requires a shared and harmonized approach. A total of 99 ports of various sizes can be found along the Adriatic and Ionian coastline. As a result, a large number of cargo, passenger, fishing and recreational vessels make the Adriatic and Ionian seas some of the most navigated areas of the world. Port of Copper is an international cargo and passenger port and uh, there are about 2,200 vessels coming each year. Kyprojekt konsiston në grumbullimin e të dhëndave nga artikujt e ndryshëm shkencor ose nga, nga aktivitetet të ndryshme që janë organizuar në... International regulations have been created in order to prevent marine pollution from operational and accidental causes. Despite these efforts, maritime activities can have negative environmental impacts such as oil and chemical spills, widespread sediment contamination, and dry bulk cargo releases, amongst others. Harmonia aims at sharing knowledge and competencies to propose best practices for monitoring and assessment of marine contaminants, to strengthen the network of data infrastructures, to uh, facilitate use and reuse of marine data in the Adriatic and Ionian Sea, and to propose a common approach for pollution risk assessment from sea-based sources. Harmonia objectives and results are presented and discussed with an heterogeneous group of stakeholders in order to focus on the real needs of the Adrian region. This will develop in a regional network of professionals involved in marine monitoring, assessment and management. 134 gas and six oil platforms operate in the Adriatic region, while currently there are 70 active licenses for exploration throughout both the Adriatic and Ionian seas. Oil and gas activities can induce a potential impact on the environment, depending on the stage of the process, the condition and sensitivity of the surrounding environment, and the techniques adopted for pollution prevention, mitigation and control. Environmental monitoring program collect data on hydrological parameters, chemical and physical variables, contaminant concentration in water, sediment and biota, biological responses, bioaccumulation, benthic community structure and fish assemblages. The environmental monitoring of offshore activities may be uh, a flexible, uh, multidisciplinary and integrated uh, tool to identify spatial and temporal trend of the uh, possible alterations, minimizing and mitigating the potential impact of offshore platforms. If you consider uh, oil discharging in the sea or uh, let's say cuttings that are coming uh, through the wells, you can have common uh, procedures in order to, to, to comply with the strictly environmental uh, parameters and laws. And this is what we follow. We follow, uh, for example, the Barcelona Convention, 
where it says that uh, you cannot uh, discharge uh, more than 40 milligrams per liter of uh, oil water or oil production, formation water into the sea, or uh, you cannot exceed uh, the 100 uh, milligram per liter uh, as the maximum, let's say, value. It is well established that good data is the basis to achieve knowledge. In fact, this is the main philosophy behind Harmonia Vision. The use of common data infrastructures and standard vocabularies facilitates the adoption of a common language within different disciplines such as research, management of the environment and human activities. The use of metadata, which is the data about data, to widely describe data is fundamental in order to make information fair, which stands for findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. One of the project objectives is to exploit part of data aggregated to access possible pathways of contaminant dispersion and evaluate environmental vulnerability in areas of high natural and socio-economic relevance. Special type of information is visual type of information. On Harmonia Geoportal, general public and stakeholders can find web representation of GIS layers. Today, with modern approach to web visualization, we are capable of intuitive and easy access to spatial data. Overlaying different spatial layers, the user can get better impression about various spatial properties. Harmonia Geoportal is realized using open source geo server for processing and sharing geospatial data. The marine area from the north of Corfu to the south of Crete has already been conceded to the oil industry for hydrocarbon exploration and exploitation. This is an area of 56,000 square kilometers in size, around approximately double the size of Belgium. The area overlaps with the Hellenic Trench, a critical habitat for iconic uh, marine species such as uh, the sperm whale, the cougar big whale, four different types of dolphins, the loggerhead sea turtle and the monsoon. WWF Greece is opposing this hydrocarbon development program, is calling for an immediate ban and supports a transition to a zero carbon energy future which is strongly relying on energy efficiency and renewable energy. At the end of Harmonia, we hope to provide the appropriate methods and tools to support uh, harmonized implementation of Marine Environmental Directive in the Adrian area. The needs of method harmonization and of data availability are of course not limited to the Adrian region and the risk assessment methodology developed for specific case study areas can be further adapted to other regions. This is why we like to say that we adopted an approach to think locally in order to act regionally. The Harmonia project will ultimately enhance the capacity to safeguard ecosystem services at a transnational scale by promoting networking and bringing together both scientists and stakeholders.